Now, here's meteorologist Pete Mangione with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, you're looking at a camera from 95 and Broadway in Providence, and you can see the highway looking okay. Traffic moving along just fine. Officially in Providence, we have reports of about two inches of snow. TJ Del Santo, he's been helping me out all morning. He just me measured five inches in East Providence, and that really gives you an idea of just a few miles making a big difference in terms of snowfall accumulations. We'll talk about our expected amounts coming up in just a minute. First, though, let's take you to our uh, recent snowfall amounts coming in. You can see West Bridgewater, Massachusetts, 17, Taunton at 14, Fall River 12, Burville at 8, Bristol 6 inches, and Providence at 2. So again, it's Bristol County, Massachusetts, extreme northern Rhode Island into central Massachusetts, which are getting hit hard by snow now, and I think that will continue for several hours. So we could see a lot more snow piling on before we're said and done this morning. The issue will be right here from Providence down to work, where the snow has had a really hard time sticking for much of the morning. Right now, we are seeing signs that this is filling in, and this whole batch of snow will eventually kind of swing down through. So we have up the accumulations across most of southern New England. Again, I'll show you those in just a few minutes. Right now, snow light to moderate, where the blue is brighter from work down to Jamestown and Newport. But you can see Bristol County, Massachusetts, still snowing hard. Woonsocket, Northern Rhode Island, along 295 here, still coming down at a very good clip. And here in Connecticut, we have some amounts approaching a foot and a half range. So it's really huge amounts of snow all around us. and. Right on top of us, it really hasn't stuck much this morning, but we are seeing signs that we're starting to fill in that snow. 30 in Smithfield, 31 Newport, 34 in New Bedford, and 34 in Westerly. And even though some locations are above freezing, it doesn't take, you know, that much of what we're seeing right now to keep those temperatures just below freezing and have that snow continue to stick. Wind gusts as of late are around 30 miles an hour. In fact, a wind advisory is in effect until 6 o'clock. This is for the south coast only. I don't anticipate, you know, we're going to see power outages all over the place. But if this snow continues to come down and we get those gusty winds, yeah, some isolated power outages certainly possible. And just the awful flood situation continues here in eastern Massachusetts with those strong winds battering the east coast places like uh, uh, situate Massachusetts Boston seeing extensive flooding with several uh, high tide cycles fortunately here in southern Rhode Island the wind direction was in our favor we did get big waves some minor flooding but nothing like they're seeing in eastern Massachusetts visibility has dropped as of late in Providence so that snow is coming down Newport you're at 31 degrees New Bedford 34 Providence Again, uh, hovering at or below freezing for at least the next several hours. Satellite pictures showing the storm just does not want to move, so the blue continues to fill in. But unlike this morning, where a lot of it wasn't sticking across most of the state, now a lot of it will start to stick for the next couple hours. And the center of low pressure is just kind of stalled offshore, and it's going to take a while to push this completely out of the way. That's why we are expecting that band to push through as we head into the afternoon. By the early evening, we are anticipating most of the snow will come to an end, although I'll tell you what, in portions of central Massachusetts. It's going to go for a long time. Uh, it very impressive amounts up here towards the Mass Pike up in Worcester County. So we take you hour by hour. You can see uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, things start to break up. I think this model may be overdoing the clearing a little bit. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the snow sticks around all the way through 5, 6 o'clock. And then as we head into the evening, we clear out the skies, but that wind will keep going. And yes, we have increased these snow amounts, 2 to 4 inches for most of South County. You know, this 2 to 4 inch line, I'm keeping it in the capital city, but just off to the east. I'm talking East Providence, 4 to 6. Now keep in mind, we already have 5 in the uh, at the studios here in East Providence, 6 to 12 here for extreme northern Rhode Island, sections like Burrville, uh, even up into portions of Cumberland in that 6 to 12 swath, and 12 to 18 in that jackpot section of Bristol County, Massachusetts. Seven day future cast does show things improve for the weekend, although I'll be honest, I didn't spend a whole lot of time on the rest of the seven day future cast. <laughs> we have been busy temperatures uh, in the 40s with partly cloudy skies. Of course, WPRI, you can go there for more weather updates. So we're monitoring this. I realize there have been some changes, but hey, the storm has been a very, very tricky storm to deal with. It has been. All right, thank you, Pete. Now here's a look at what we're working on.